Good morning. It is a Monday morning and I have a super busy week ahead. Basically, I'm leaving on Thursday to go down to see a friend for the weekend that I haven't seen for years. I'm super excited to see him. But that means that my week this week is a bit truncated because I'm not planning to work while I'm there visiting him. So I'm trying to get like all my stuff done earlier this week. So I thought, why not film a vlog and have you with me to keep me accountable. So today is one of my really long days on campus, Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm just on campus basically the whole day. So I'm currently getting ready and then I will head out, catch the bus. And my plan is just to get as much schoolwork done while I can while I'm on campus today. So try and get ahead on like my homework assignments and other things related to school so that my evenings this week can be dedicated to work tasks. So that between those two periods of time, I can kind of get ahead on everything, if that makes sense. I'm also feeling good because Austin is meeting me down there. This friend is a mutual friend of Austin and I's. So it'll be my first time seeing Austin in like seven weeks or something, so I'm super excited. I miss him a lot. I think it's gonna be a really fun weekend. I just want to work ahead so that I can just unplug and enjoy the weekend and not be worried about like all the work that I'm getting behind on and all that, if that makes sense. I also cannot believe how quickly time seems to be passing lately. It's already almost halfway through February, which is just insane. And on the one hand, I'm grateful, but on the other hand, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I need time to slow down because there's so much I need to do before May rolls around. So, so yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna have a productive week, but we're gonna stay balanced because balance is important and it's gonna be a good week and I'm excited to have you with me. I feel like I'm really hitting my, my vlogging stride these days, you know? But anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then head to campus for my very long day of classes. <laughs> This is my little outfit for the day. This sweater is from Cezanne. These jeans are Everlane. And then my Madewell boots that I've been wearing every day. And I'll probably throw on a jacket, but I just haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Hello, it is Monday evening. I just got back from classes and I'm gonna head to the gym and do a quick workout. I think I'm just gonna go for a short little jog because I honestly don't have a lot of time, but I do wanna still get a workout in just because I think that'll like set my week off on a better note. So I'm gonna do that and then I have one errand to run. I need to go to UPS and then I'm gonna come back and just have a work night and try and get as much done as I can. But yeah, today's going good so far. Mondays are hard because I'm on campus for so long. I feel like it feels unproductive even though I am obviously being productive but it just takes up such a huge chunk of time so anyways we're gonna keep at it we're gonna keep pushing I definitely am like feeling the urge to be unproductive because Thursday feels so close and I just like watch tv and Thursday would arrive either way so I'm feeling the urge to just like veg out but I'm gonna stick with it because I know this weekend will be much more enjoyable if I stick to my schedule to the gym to UPS and then back here <laughs> I stopped the car to show you this because look at the sunset. Look at it. Okay, I just got back from UPS. I sat in my car for like 15 minutes when I got back and just scrolled on my phone. I don't know why, I feel like my car is where I'm most likely to like get off track and get lost scrolling in my phone. I don't know what it is about it. It's just... It's my weakness, what can I say? So I'm gonna vacuum really quick because I didn't do that this weekend and my room could use it. And then I'm gonna run through the shower and just rinse off. I'll probably have like 45 minutes until dinner. Austin and I usually eat dinner together and watch episodes of Parks and Rec. And we're not doing that till eight.
Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. It's super early because I have to go onto campus early to get my monthly allergy shots. So that's where I'm off to now. I'm about to catch the bus. I have a crazy busy day today. I will fill you in more later, but yeah, it's going to be a day. So let's get to it. Also, this is my little outfit of the day. This is my most favorite cardigan from Cezanne. My jacket is Barpour. My jeans are Madewell and my boots are Madewell. That's the fit. <laughs> Tuesday afternoon. I've had a really, a really productive morning, so I thought I would check in. And I also have a few packages that I think would be fun to unbox before I get on with the rest of my productive afternoon. But I'm just gonna unbox these really quick. I never do unboxings, but I feel like this will be fun. Um, we're gonna go in order of least exciting to most exciting. This first thing is not exciting at all, but be realistic. Ta-da! new external hard drive because i've almost used up all the space on my current external hard drive and backing up your files is important kids okay next is definitely much more exciting from my friends at and other stories i get packages from them every month and it's always such good stuff i am so so excited about these pieces they're so gorgeous and they're perfect for that like in between kind of late winter or early spring you know first up is this knit that is stunning i love the color it's this really nice warm cream tone has a mock neck which is perfect for this time of year because it's definitely still cold the wind chill is below freezing today and it's a nice like not necessarily cropped length but it's not super long and it's just gonna be so versatile i feel like this can go with literally anything and layer so well and i'm just really excited about it. definitely a great staple piece in my closet and then this next thing is just darling this pleated wool skirt oh, look how adorable it is Oh my gosh, it's this beautiful herringbone fabric, which is just one of my weaknesses in fashion. I love a good wool herringbone. It has these little button details. It's gonna be so cute. I thought these two as an outfit would be so adorable. And then obviously with other pieces too. I'll link these pieces in the description if you're interested in purchasing them, but they're adorable and I cannot wait to style them. You'll definitely see me styling them over on Instagram. And then this last package is actually not for me. It's for Austin. I will explain. It's a fleece. a fleece. Okay, so there's a little bit of backstory. You've probably seen me wearing this fleece in the mornings and evenings. I wear it pretty much every morning and evening. My mom got it for me for Christmas to replace the other fleece that I had for literally like nine years. You've probably seen it in my videos. It's blue and red. It's got this kind of pattern on it, but it was on its last legs. Like the elbows were paper thin and it definitely needed to be replaced after almost a decade of wearing it. So she got me this one and I love it because not only is it from her, which just makes it sentimental, super cozy, comfy. I like the color. It's just all around great. And then I was on the LL Bean website the other day and I saw that they had a different color in Austin size and I was like so now we can be twinsies. Obviously we're long distance right now but I'm gonna be seeing him this weekend so I'm gonna give it to him then. LL Bean makes the best fleeces. I This is not sponsored but like that fleece I had for 10 years was by LL Bean and it held up okay like 
they do not mess around with their fleeces. They're so soft and comfy. So yeah, that's my little mail haul. Definitely a good mail day. That was a couple days worth of packages that I just went and picked up from the office. Now I'm about to leave and go run a few errands that I need to do before leaving on my trip. And then when I get back, I wanna shoot some Instagram content. And then after that, I will probably work out. And then after that, I'm just gonna sit down and study and get that out of the way because I'm definitely getting a little nervous about my midterm tomorrow. So I'm just gonna sit down and do like a solid couple hours of studying. I feel like I'm kind of out of practice for actual exams. A lot of my classes later in college have been pretty project-based. Like I don't have many exams anymore, so I feel like I'm like out of practice. I haven't had an actual exam in a while. Definitely a little nervous about this one. I get all my other stuff done as quick as I can so I can just sit down and study. Okay, I'm, ba I'm back from my errands and I've changed into those new pieces I got from And Other Stories to shoot that piece of content and I just have to show you how cute this outfit is. It's amazing. I'm so sad I don't have anywhere to wear it to. Like literally I, I have nowhere to wear this to but it is so cute. It's just so cute. I wish this is what I get for being an introvert. I have cute outfits but nowhere to wear them. So anyways, <sighs> obsessed. pretty late on Tuesday. It's basically midnight and I am just about to go to sleep, but I just wanted to check in one last time. Since we last chatted, I ran those errands I was talking about. I did also end up shooting something for Instagram, which I'm glad I did. And then I worked out and basically just started on homework and studying for the evening. It's one of those really long days that I'm really grateful I don't ever have to do again. You know, when you go to bed some days and you're like, okay, at least I never have to live this exact day again. That's kind of how I feel right now. Glad it's behind me. It wasn't particularly enjoyable, but definitely necessary. I wouldn't say that this is like a balanced or healthy kind of day for me normally because I basically was just going from the second I woke up to the second I'm going to bed. But some days like this do need to happen. It's just that they're not the majority of the days ideally. Anyways, I am gonna get to sleep. Tomorrow is my exam and I'm definitely pretty nervous, but hopefully it will go fine. <laughs> Wednesday morning. I'm just getting ready for my day and thought I would chat. I have another long day today, so a bunch of those classes again, including my exam that I've been studying for. I'm definitely pretty nervous for this exam, which I'm actually like kind of annoyed about. Like I keep expecting to grow out of my exam caused nervousness like the further I get into college. I mean, I've taken so many exams at this point. And also this exam, I know for a fact, is just not gonna be that bad. Like it's not worth the, the stress that I'm feeling about it. So my logical brain and my emotional brain are like not on the same page right now. And it's so annoying because I don't wanna be stressed. Like being stressed and anxious isn't a good feeling. And I work really hard trying to avoid that feeling by working ahead and like being prepared and all that. But honestly, sometimes no matter what you do, you just can't avoid that feeling. Definitely ready to have this exam done. Not, not even just cause of the exam per se, but mostly just to have this feeling gone and to feel like I can move on with my life because that's always somewhat the sensation that I get right before an exam is like my life is on hold until the exam is over, which is annoying because I want to do things with my life. I was thinking though that it's February of my senior year or so I really only have a finite number of exams left, which is kind of an exciting thought. I have one more midterm in this class and two or three finals and that's it. And those are all the exams I will have to take in my life unless I choose to go back to school at some point. So that's a comforting thought going into today that at least, you know, there's a finite number of them left as annoying as they are. It 
is Wednesday evening. I am just sitting at my desk trying to get the rest of my homework done. So I had my exam this afternoon and it definitely went well. It was pretty easy. So I'm thankful that it's done and that it went well. Then I just had, you know, the rest of my classes that day. I got back and went to the gym quickly as you saw. And I basically have just been cleaning and I also showered since then and now it's eight o'clock and I'm here sitting at my desk. The only thing left on my to-do list is my homework through Sunday since I'll obviously be, you know, traveling and with friends. I want to get all my homework done so I can just focus on being present and having a good time. So that's kind of the last task of this productive week vlog. So I'm gonna sit down and try and just nail those out. Even though I'm gonna be honest, I am so tired. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna try and go to bed as early as I can tonight, which means getting those assignments done as quickly as I can. Hello, happy Thursday. I have just been spending the morning doing kind of random pre-vacation-y things. So I put my laundry in, I've been cleaning up and just kind of organizing. I'm about to start packing and then I'm just gonna head out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I am really genuinely pleased with how productive I was this week. It was one of those weeks where I just kind of had to put my head down and like get through it, you know? It wasn't particularly enjoyable. Definitely would have rather just zoned out and waited for my vacation this weekend, but that's not really how life works. And oftentimes we have responsibilities ahead of vacation. Needless to say, I'm glad it's over, but I'm also really proud of myself for being disciplined and getting what I needed to done in a healthy manner. I really enjoyed bringing you along with me this week. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day whenever you're watching this, and I will see you next time. Bye, friends.